my films were not greeted as great films when they came out. Even Godfather, which is the only film I ever made that had a, what we will call a great success, was very controversial and critically, at the time it was a mixed reaction critical hit. My films are unusual, partly because uh, I look at art as an adventure and I, I mean, what other film director, if you took his first film and his seventh film, are so dissimilar? My styles are always different. I'm very willing sure. to, to go in different directions. I don't just basically yeah. make the same no. kind of film. I hear you, and people can so, say... You know. So right from the beginning, in time, and I lived through it, so I know my work was always greeted, even Godfather 2. I mean, if you remember back, the reviews and the, and the buzz, to use yeah. a contemporary word, was that Godfather 2 was not as good as Godfather 1. Yeah. I know it because... You know, I was crushed because I knew that if that happened uh, and, and I couldn't live up to the, the promise of Godfather 1, which at the time I spent my time uh, defending that I hadn't romanticized the Mafia and that it had value as a piece of art. So that since in those days the films that I made, which are today considered classics, were not considered classics, equally so the films that I've made more recently have the same reception. Yeah, but know? that does not mean that they were as good. But, but just because they're now saying... Did I say whether they were good? I didn't say the first one. All I'm saying is that the judgment of these films in their time was always that Francis Coppola is promising, but the reaction is mixed. And that's the same thing that they've said about films, just to pull one out of the hot, the Cotton Club. Right. But look at the Cotton Club, and then consider how it was received. And yourself, see what you think of the picture. My theory is that when a film is unusual and tries to break new ground, that when uh, it's like a new food that you put in front of a person, I eat that, mm, I don't yeah, like that. But six years later, ah, oh, that's, I remember that stuff my mother used to make. Wow, I like that better than Hershey bar. So my only point is, first of all, it's not important whether a person is making great films or not. Because as we know, what really makes a great film is one thing, whether it lives. And that can only really be judged later on.